हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन विद गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर 997 एंड फाइंड द टाउन जज ओके व्हाट द गिवन द गिवन क्वेश्चन इन अ टाउन देयर आर एन पीपल लेबल्ड फ्रॉम 1 टू एन देयर इज अ रूमर दैट वन ऑफ दिस पीपल इज सीक्रेटली द टाउन जज ओके द टाउन जज एग्जिस्ट देन द टाउन जज ट्रस्ट नोबडी मींस द टाउन जज विल नॉट ट्रस्ट एनीवन ओके एवरीबॉडी trust the town judge means everyone will trust the town judge okay there is exactly one person that satisfy the property of these two okay you are given an array trust where trust i is equals to ai comma bi representing the person labeled ai will trust the person labeled bi okay we need to return the labeled of town judge if the town judge exist and can be identified or return minus 1 what they told they given one trust array okay trust array will not trust a trust judge will not trust anyone but he will but everybody will be trusted by him okay if that is there means we will return that index value okay or else we will return the minus 1 See here, n equals to two means their trust array they given one comma two. Here one is trusted by two. Okay, uh, so two is not trusting anyone. So output is two. I will show briefly in whiteboard. Okay. See what they given. They given n equals to two and they given array one comma two. Okay. Here one is trusted by two. Okay, but two is not trusting anyone. So our output is two. Here third in second example one comma three and two comma three. Here one is trusted by three. And two is trusted by three. Here, this third is not trusted by anyone. Okay, so output is three. In third example, one is trusted by three, and two is trusted by three. And here, three is trusted by one. Here, here the two properties are not satisfying. So the output is minus one. We are getting minus one. Okay. I am using the unordered map as logic first. Okay, I will show. See, one I will be stored as key element with uh with the, the two as value here. Okay, what I will do here? One is one is uh I will show the logic by using unordered map. Okay, unordered map here. With one, first pair in one with the two. Here one is trusted by two. Okay, two is not trusted by anyone. So our output is true. In second example, see one is trusted by three and two is trusted by three. Here three is not trusting anyone. So our output is three. Okay. In third example, one is trusted by three and two is Trusted by three and three is trusted by one. Here no one is uh every everyone are trusting because three why well, are one is trusting three and three is trusting one one. So this is not satisfying. Okay, so our output will be minus one. Okay, I will go with the other other logic. We can go with any other logic. It's not matter. But I will go with now other logic. I will show to you. Yeah, the previous logic is by using unordered map. Now I will show with other logic. Okay, see what I am doing. I am taking there are n elements. Okay, I am taking n plus one size of the array. Okay, what I will take one array. Here n equals to two. Okay, I will take zero one two. Okay, what I will do? Starting, I will place all elements with zero. Okay, I will take. In this one comma two, uh, this concept in degree and out degree, okay. Uh, that that I will bring out a degree, okay. What the uh, out degree of a vertex means? Uh, the number of directed edges going out of it, okay. I say here one. This will represent that uh, uh, number of other people that the people trust. Okay, in degree, in degree means it will represents the vertex of the going into it. 
uh, here it will represent the people trusted by person okay our out degree should be always n minus 1 if they given n means it should be n minus 1 if it is there means then only we are telling the judge town judge is existing okay what i will do in this 1 comma 2 if it is there means in the first pair i will decrement okay uh, and here second second value i will increment the value so here one one to know your first index what i will do i will decrement by minus one and my value uh, second will be incremented by one okay see here the what they given they given n equals to two i want out degree of n minus one two minus one it is one see it is one then i will tell the i will return the index value is two two now i will go with second example See second, second example I will go. See here n equals to 3. Okay. The elements are 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3. Okay. With index of 0, 1, 2, 3. I will start starting all elements with 0. Here 1 comma 3. What I will do? I will decrement my with minus 1. 3 with 1. Here second i will decrement minus one and i will increment two see n is three i should get out degree of n minus one three minus one means two see here two so i am returning the three as it is uh, town judge okay see in the third example what is happening starting with uh, n plus 1 array I will come to uh, here n is 3 ok starting all will be placed with 0th element mm, ok here the elements are 3 1 3 1 will be first pair will be minus 1 and 3 will be incremented to 1 ok uh, here 2 3 uh, 2 3 means here will become minus 1 it will be 2 ok here say 3 1 3 what will happen it will become 1 and 1 will become 0. See, n minus 1 I want means I want 2. But here there are no 2 elements. So it is not, uh, there is a no town judge person. Okay. So I am returning just output as minus 1. Okay. Uh, now I will. Now I will show the code. How it is working. Starting what I done, I initialized an empty vector, okay, with the size of n plus 1 and with all the 0th element, okay, hmm, to, uh, because the number of people that to trust by the particular person for that I used. After that, I am taken, uh, I am taking iterated that for, at a for each loop, okay, uh, as auto as a uh, keyword, okay, with the trust, okay. What I will do? Uh, I will decrement the uh, the trust count of the first pair, okay, uh, and I will increment the trust count of the second pair. I will do this, okay. Mm. After rest again, I will start to iterate the count array for each person to check the count is equals to n minus one or not. If it is there, means I will return the person's count, or else if not found, it means I will I will return minus one. Yeah, this is the uh, logic of this code. Okay, in this logic, the time complexity is taking uh, b of n because we are iterating the for loop for all the all the elements of the vector. Okay, and the space complexity is taking b of n because we are using the vector. We are storing all the elements. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching my video.